Everybody, we start this next half hour with a heartwarming Delmarva story, a community lending a helping hand to a man in need. What started out as just a group of employees helping a co-worker has now gone viral. 47 ABC's Danny Bazzini joins us live to tell us more. Danny, how did this all play out? Well, Julian and Ryan, a couple weeks ago, employees at the Texas Roadhouse in Fruitland learned that one of their fellow co-workers had been walking over two hours to work every day. And that's when their efforts to help him began. They started a GoFundMe page and tried to raise money, but it wasn't until the Worcester County Sheriff's Office stepped in that things really got rolling. And suddenly, after a simple post, the goodwill started pouring in. When, when somebody's like that, you'll bend over backwards to do something for them. Patrick Adkins is one of hundreds on the shore doing what they can to help out this man, Isaac Saul Metal Jr., a Salisbury man who has gotten the attention of people like Adkins by just doing his job. We took and watched him, and he was just one of them hard workers, somebody that you can take and actually when you watch him work, he's got a rhythm to it. And, and when, when it's somebody like that, you know, it's easy to take and do something for him. About six weeks ago, metal scooter broke down, his only form of transportation to get to his Texas Roadhouse job from his residence on Nanakoke Road, an over 10 mile trek, one he didn't stop doing. On foot, it takes about three hours, <laughs> and on bike, it's about that, about an hour and a half. Probably about, probably about an hour and 10 minutes. Yes, yeah, that's what I have to do. Despite his arduous journey to work, Metal never complained. He just kept at it, never missing a shift. I don't try to bring my problems to work. I don't try to like um, try to take it out on anybody else. I mean, walking three hours to work from Nanticoke Road, and never once did I hear him complain. So we're trying to do anything we can to raise money for him. His Texas Roadhouse coworkers started this GoFundMe page to help out. But metal situation didn't take off until the Worcester County Sheriff's Office got wind of his dedication. This Facebook post going viral with people like Adkins, who is donating a car for metal. Anything I can do to help, I'll definitely do. And then with the vehicle, you know, I'll take and cover his repairs onto it, you know, as long as you need something. Folks willing to do whatever they can to help metal any way they can. It's part of the community. When you have somebody that's a worker like that, you know, there's so many people that want something for free and don't want to take and earn it that you have this gentleman that don't want to complain and it, and it just go, keeps on going. Regardless of the situation, it just keeps on going. I'm just, I'm just speechless right now. I'm just, I'm just trying to just get, get through it, just trying to make it by. I just think it was big of a deal. I mean, uh, <laughs> people got to do what they have to do, but I'm just speechless. The Worcester County Sheriff's Office is accepting donations on Metal's behalf. It's all in an effort to help fill his cabinets with food and fix some things around his home. The Texas Roadhouse is also having a car wash on August 14th to help out with the cost of repairs. Guys, back to you. All right, Danny, thank you very much again. That was 47 ABC's Danny Bozzini reporting live for us in studio today. And just mm -hmm. a, a great story. No, and, and as, as you kind of said at the very beginning, it is a heartwarming story to see people care about other people like that. And a man yeah. working hard, going to work, and his coworkers helping out just makes a your Wednesday good. three-hour walk to work. It's commitment. That is some dedication. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I only have a 10-minute drive to the station, and I barely get here on time. Yeah, I mean, holy moly. If you know one of your colleagues needs a ride to work and they got to walk three hours, please help them. Do something Goodness to help gracious. Them and for more information on how you can actually donate and where to donate, we have all of that on our website, 47abc.com.